What's going on today? We have got a 20 minute full body dumbbell workout that you're just gonna use an exercise bench and a set of dumbbells. So stay tuned because we're gonna cover all of that in today's video. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. My name's Frank. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach, and I help people in this channel feel, move, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And as always, if you wanna get started and skip straight to today's workout, go ahead and click that link down in the description, down in the comment section. You can go ahead and skip straight to it. For today's workout, all you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells, and I say a set, you just need one, of each certain weight of dumbbells and then also an exercise bench, all right? I guess you could do this without the exercise bench, but it's gonna make it a lot easier instead of plunking down on the ground doing some stuff. So get an exercise bench. I'll put a link down in the description for that. Get a set of dumbbells, even if you get the Bowflex or some other kind of adjustable dumbbell. I'm not crazy about that for this workout because you're gonna to wanna to have something to drop and get to, but most sporting goods stores by now, or even on Amazon, you know, I had an online client I'm working with, I shipped them some dumbbells. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can get them. They have them, Amazon has them. So uh, feel free to check that if you wanna use any of my links down in the description. It does help out the channel, so thank you so much for that. And also, feel free to join the channel. Yes, if you would like to support the channel, it's not, uh, not needed, but it does help out the channel, helps me produce more content, so feel free to click that join button. Any donation is more than accepted. So again, we've got a 20 minute full body workout. There's not gonna be a big giant warm up, no mobility, no stretching. So if you wanna do those other videos, please, I have plenty of other videos, please do a foam rolling video of mine. I'll put a link for that right here. And then also you can do a dynamic warm up, and I'll link some of that down in the video description down below. And then you can get started and do this video and then please feel free to do some of my stretching videos. I'll link some of those down there as well. So with our full body workout, okay, each move is gonna be 45 seconds long with a 15 second rest break in between. And then we're gonna do 20 different moves, but each move is gonna be done on each side. So I think I have about, I don't know, five to, Maybe like six moves are unique. Some of them are gonna be repeated on each side. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab our water bottles. Let's get hydrated and let's smash today's full body dumbbell workout. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of water, get hydrated. And then before we get started, like I said, you can go ahead, have an array of dumbbells. Um, I have a 30, a 20, a 15, 10, and eight. So you might adjust those weight as necessary if you're a little bit um, you need some lighter weights, maybe a 15, 10, 8, 5, 3, but I'm using 30, 20, so we'll get right into it and we'll get going along. So I'm going to go ahead and get this timer started and I just got a little bit of a uh, warm up, so I'll put 15 seconds on the clock. We'll get that going. We'll get started with our first move. So we have a split lunge to bicep curl X2. So I'm going to do two bicep curls at the top of the movement. I'm not going to fully lock out. I'm gonna kind of keep it a little bent. So one foot's elevated, coming down, and then bicep curl. We're gonna get two of those. One split squat, bicep curl. I'm really working that top end. So I'm coming down, nice stretch, and squeeze. See, I'm not locking out, I keep it a little bent, squeeze at the top. Drop it down, stretch, bicep curl, and squeeze. These repetitions, I'm going a little bit faster, getting a nice contraction, a lot of times I do, Get a lot of time under tension, but doing a lot of work here. Getting a nice squeeze, going through these moves. So nice curl, nice squeeze, really getting that bicep, dropping low onto that split lunge, Bulgarian split squat. Coming down, pumping it up, nice squeeze. All right, so the first half of this workout, like I said, we have 10 moves, and then we're gonna repeat it all again. When we repeat it all again, I'm gonna cue up the music. You won't hear me talk and I'm just gonna be moving through it. So foot elevated onto the bench, doing a split lunge, pulse, double bicep curl at the top, dropping low, bicep curl. And then again, I come back down and I'm just focusing on that peak contraction. You don't have to worry about getting two full reps because I wanna keep as much tension on that bicep as possible. So I'm almost doing like a half rep to a three quarter rep. You can see I don't come all the way down on that second time. Dropping low. My knee stays soft the whole time. Getting a nice stretch. 
When I come down, see I'm here, 90% of my weight is on that leg I'm working, flexing the quad at the top. Again, I'm driving through the heel, not on the toe, driving through the heel. Flex and squeeze. All right, I'll drop that down. So I use 20 pounds there. Next one, I'm gonna go with a 30 pounder. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier and I'm gonna do a one arm supported dumbbell row. So one hand down. I'm gonna get onto my toes so I can gauge my abs a little bit more. Not necessary, but I'm here. Back is flat, squeeze. And I'm pulling and I'm squeezing. Again, when I do this, retract the shoulder blade first, row towards the hip. I like to give it a little turn. Don't pull that elbow all the way up high. Squeeze, retract and squeeze. Now you can go slow, but again, when you're holding it more, you'll fatigue a little quicker. But either way, when you're doing these, you'll feel it. So as I come up, retract the shoulder blade, pull it towards the hip, flex. Again, you can see I'm on my toes. And as I'm on my toes, keeping my stomach pulled in tight, it engages the abs more. If you're getting too tired, you can flatten the feet, get a nice pull, squeeze at the end, okay? I'll just go ahead and hop to the other side so you can still see this dumbbell in action. Move this phone here so I don't smash it. And again, onto the toes, hand down or knuckle, all right? Here, retract the shoulder blade, pull towards the hip. You can see my elbow is below the shoulder. Do not just shrug and row. You don't wanna do that, don't round the back. Keep that back flat or arch, stomach pulled in, retract the shoulder blade, turn that thumb out, pinky in. And I might even turn the hips or turn the back, turn the upper body just a little bit. That little extra rotation gives me a deep squeeze of my lats. Retract, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale and squeeze. Getting a nice contraction into the back, into the lats. Retract that shoulder blade, turn it in row. Nice squeeze. All right, so we got that. Next move, we got a goblet squat to press. So I'm still gonna use this heavy weight with the goblet squat to press. I'm getting a nice squat. The weight's in front of my body, back is flat. I'm gonna push up over the head. Point the toes out, sit into it. Boom, head through the shoulders. Even when I come up, my knees stay soft. Don't lock them out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, pushing your head through the shoulders. Because if you just go to here, you can, but it's gonna be, I mean, you don't get as much I guess you get a little bit more attention on there, but I like to get that full extension. So it really works that front delt just a little bit more. When you go here, you get the press, but get that little extra squeeze all the way through the top. Inhale, Push. exhale, inhale, breathe in, abs tight. You notice when I squat, I'm pushing my knees out. Nice breath there, a little extra rep. We're setting that down. Next, we're gonna get into our forearm plank. Rear delt raise. All right, here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and use a 15 pounder plank position, leading with that elbow, all right? Don't bring the back on that butt all the way up. Keep the feet out a little wider than hip width, elbow down. Leading up with that elbow, going up, out, and away from the body. If, it's, if you wanna challenge yourself, you can keep the feet more narrow, a lot harder, but I like to keep them out just a little bit. Again, I'm just leading up with that pinky, driving that elbow away from the body. That's gonna work the rear delt, which is that back side of the shoulder. Ush. Really use your breath here. Ush. Inhale. Ush. Exhale. Ush. 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 Really wanted to focus on that breath there. That's why you didn't hear me talking too much. So you can get a nice squeeze, okay? because the rear delts are often neglected. That's that muscle on the back side of the shoulder. It's gonna give your shoulders that complete look so you don't have a hole in the back side of your arm, all right? So feet a little wider in the hip width, lead with that elbow. Hush. Just drive it out. Hush. Inhale on the way down. Hush. Exhale. Hush. And your butt may come back a little bit. Don't let it sink too far down. Don't push it all the way up. Just try and keep it level. Hush. This shoulder is over the elbow. And again, breath is your energy. And that's how you're always gonna see me drive. 
A lot of weight's gonna be on my right foot as I lean into that side and drive up with the elbow. A few more reps, almost there. All right. Woo. All right, next we got a split lunge, overhead tricep extension. So further gonna work the legs a little bit more. Split lunge position with overhead tricep extension. We got two pulses and one full rep. Might feel like three reps. So split lunge position, elbow over the top, hand onto the hip. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, two. You can see I'm not locking out that tricep. My knee is hovered. So I'm not all the way onto the ground, I'm not touching. So I'm really working my legs, working those stabilizers, a lot of core. My tricep is on fire. Because this way I can use a lighter weight like I'm using here with the 15 pounds, getting those pulses, pressing and squeezing, and I can really fire up that tricep a little bit more. So I'm just hovering in this position, pulsing for two, one full rep. Pulse for two, one full rep. Woo! That's a burner. All right, gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Guess you can get a little side angle here, something different. So, again, one leg is forward, one leg is back. Hand on to the hip, and then I'm here. Two pulses, extend. When I do that tricep extension, I'm not locking out. That way, I keep constant time under tension on that tricep. I've had a lot of, a lot of few of my clients doing this move recently, and it is freaking hell. On your legs. I mean, I got my triceps going, but really feel those legs. So I got two pulses at the bottom. One full extension at the top. Lost my balance, so it's all good. That happens. We're not perfect. Two pulses. Woo! Burner. A little breather here, and then last one, I'm gonna do a dumbbell pullover crunch. I'm gonna go back a little heavier. We're gonna get the lats. All right, we're gonna get the arms and abs. Especially, yeah, abs. So, pullover crunch, I'm here. And then, whoosh, tucking the hips. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, whoosh, hip lift. So with this pullover, generally, we get the lats, a little bit of triceps. Get the hip lift, lift those hips up, exhale. Inhale, breathe in, whoosh, exhale. Inhale, whoosh, up, whoosh, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, breathe in, whoosh, and drive. Use the weight whoosh, that you can handle. And again, the reverse crunch is it's naturally just, you know, it's a little tough, but this dumbbell, Gives me that little extra squeeze in my serratus, that area up onto the top here. And then also a little extra weight. Again, I'm working the lats and the back of the arms there. So cue up the music. We're gonna do this all over again. Might try and go a little heavier on some moves. Let's rock this out.
four, three, two, one. Give me some time and you'll see me up on stage some now I'm working every day, I'm working hella late I'm working cause it's worth it, once you make it then you play I'm never slowing down, I'm gonna own this time Live by the saying that your time is lost but never found Let's go another round, make them give up the crown Nah I ain't playing man, I'll take it so just give it now yeah, I'm gonna work hard, play hard Yeah, I play my first card, ace hard Yeah, they know I play smart, play hard We don't have the same star, we don't have the same cards Yeah, it's not the hand that you dealt Nah, it's how you prove it to yourself Nah, you don't need any wealth Gotta live your life, work hard and excel Yeah, don't be looking for their help Look inside of yourself for the wealth Keep your mind and your body in good health And keep working for nobody but yourself Yeah, you can make it one day Don't be listening to what anybody say They got the wrong state of mind, okay Most of the time they won't help I'm anything Five, four. Three, two, one. Got no time to have down. I'm gonna make it somehow. I'm gonna keep my head down. I ain't gonna stop now. Got no time to have down. I'm gonna make it somehow. I'm gonna keep my head down. I'm gonna keep my head down. Till I make it, yeah Yeah, I'll be okay Oh, I'll be okay I'm gonna Five, fight, never giving four, up three, Yeah, I'll be two, okay one. Oh, I'll be okay Cause I know just what I'm capable of You can leave if that's not enough I believe in never giving up I don't need someone to help me Yeah, enough. yeah yeah, I work harder than the rest, smarter than the best Every day is a test, but I stay obsessed Maintain progress, keep away from the stress Cause I want nothing less, yeah I keep moving on, every single day is another gone Every single day write another song So one day I'll play with the best it's on Okay, I know my path Not just an artist, I'm doing math Not just child and I have to add Cause I'm not just an art kid, I'm a brand So I'm working hard, thinking smart Taking action with passion and using heart Gain traction, reactions are just a start No distractions attract them to your heart, yeah I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now. Got no time to have 
Got no time to have doubts. Got no time to have doubts. I'm gonna make it somehow. Five, I'm gonna keep four, my head down. Three, two, one. Stop now. I ain't Five, four, three, yeah. two, one. The facts. Bad chicks like bad things. Bad chicks like big rings. Bad chicks like no strings, cause they don't wanna be attached to anything. Yeah. Bad chicks are like a riddle. Man, I'm caught up in the middle. I think she's giving me a signal. Looking superficial with her chest artificial. Yeah, I'm feeling like the shit oh I've been making music since I was a little kiddo Never gonna stop, no, I'm never gonna quit oh I G G Y hit him with the remix so oh. That's a wrap. It's one of the hardest workouts I've done using dumbbells, at least on camera, because uh, you saw me fatiguing a few times. This wasn't easy, okay? So I really hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, this is a really cool routine I put together that mainly focuses on the back, all right? We got the rear delt. As you see towards the end of the workout, it's a lot of time under tension in a short amount of time. So since I had planked the one arm and I start using the other arm, it was just gassed. But that's why, as you can see in the video, I have multiple dumbbells. In the beginning, I used a 20 pound for the split lunge or curl because I was just trying to get loosened up and it went a little heavier at the end. So again, pick a weight you can handle, all right? If you want a full blown out 40 minute workout, just go ahead and click that start repeat button and do this workout again. It's a really killer circuit. And if you ever have to take a little extra rest breaks in between, that's fine. So like I said, we're focusing on the back side of the body. We worked our back with the one arm rows. We got a rear delt with the forearm plank rear delt raise. Also felt the fronts of our shoulders, but we really accentuated that back side of the shoulder. Split squat, the curl with two pulses, because generally when you split squat and curl, the weight that you're using, sometimes if you're just doing split squats, it's too heavy for the curl. But when you want that sweet mix, I like getting two curls. So it's just as good with my legs as it is with my arms, okay? And then as moving through it, goblet squat to press, really good conditioning move, working the legs and the shoulders. And like I said, we finished at the end, forearm plank, rear delt raise. We did that uh, split lunge overhead tricep extension. Your hip flexors and quads should be burning. They should be burning up. So we're working the back of the arms, but we're working our core, we're working the stabilizers in our legs, holding that position, okay? And then the final move, we did that dumbbell pullover crunch. That's a great one that you're gonna work your arms, you're gonna feel the backside, your triceps, the backside of your arm. Also a little bit of lats, pulling over squeeze, you get a little crunch in the abdominals, but also that serratus as you're doing those pullovers, it kinda gets those finger-like, rib-like muscles up there. So, really hope you enjoyed this one. This is a good one. Uh, if you're a client of mine, you better be doing this if I sent this to you. So, and thank you for watching it if you made it all the way through. And also feel free, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. What other content would you like to see, okay? Like I said, as always, I create a lot of these content and these videos for my clients when they're on vacation or, you know, don't have a lot of equipment to use when they're, you know, short on time and have minimal equipment. Now, again, when I'm doing my training sessions with clients, sometimes it's sets, it's reps, we drop set, we go to failure. But when you're short on time, I love using these time-based circuits 
because I get the most efficient amount of work I can do in a shortest amount of time. And even you might've seen some of my workouts, there's no rest breaks. We just go nonstop. And so especially like if I have a super busy day and I got to work out, I might go 20 to 30 minutes, balls to the wall and just go back to back with my exercises. So again, thank you so much for being here. Please share this content with a friend or family member that can benefit from some of this information because you know, on the road to 1 million subscribers, which I'm very far away, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. You know, I want to help as many people. And if I can help more people, I can do more giveaways. You know, I can get Sam, my videographer, he can shoot more content with me. We can deliver cooler content to you. And I wanna do more of that in the future. Lately, I've been so busy and I'm blessed because everybody's been wanting to get healthier because of you know why, all this crazy pandemic and all these conditions. So do whatever you can to strengthen your immune system, strengthen your cardiovascular system, and also strengthen your muscles. You know, one of the best things to strengthen your immune system is to get stronger. Lift some weights, all right? You could strength train. Don't worry about getting big and bulky if that's not your goal, because if you're eating tons of vegetables all the time and you're lifting heavy ass weights, you can only grow so much. Vegetables don't make you big and bulky. McDonald's and fast food and lots of processed, refined carbohydrates, all that stuff does. So anywho, I could talk forever about this, but uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell so you stay tuned for all my latest content. And again, I can't wait to see you watching my next workout. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on a flag. I sail the ship and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna happen.